It's so nice to have finished paper one and never have to think about any of those topics ever again. I never have to think about any of those topics ever again, right? Surprise! You're wrong! Hi, my name's Dr De Bruin. I'm a GCSE and A-level science teacher and I also make revision videos on YouTube. So you know those pages at the front of the specification that you've never actually read? The ones that talk about working scientifically skills and mathematical requirements and AO1, AO2, AO3? They also mention something called fundamental topics. These are topics that are so fundamental to our understanding of science that, guess what, they can be in either paper. They're almost exclusively paper one topics, so the good news is you have already revised them. And some of them are pretty obvious. I don't think you'd actually be that surprised if the structure of the atom came up in paper two. Or if a question had a one marker about part of a cell. But there's actually nothing to stop them giving you a six marker in which you have to compare meiosis and mitosis. And they can throw a little bit of quantitative chemistry in there. We're not talking a six mark theoretical yield question, but there could be a one mark work out the relative formula mass. So if this is brand new information to you, can I advise you to go read your specification because it does have them all listed in there. And if you're like, what's the specification? The address you want is aqa.org.uk forward slash 8464. You're welcome.